Hola, it's Avi and Lito, and we're back with another video. Today, we wanted to do a Lito Bible study, um, just a quick, like, quick, <laughs> quick study of the scripture, Matthew 16, 24 through 25. Amen. So, in um, the way we're going to do the study is in the SOAP method. So, first, we're going to say the scripture out loud. And if you are following along with us, you can write the scripture, find it in your Bible, highlight it, uh, whatever it is you, that you need to do. Um, <laughs> so, we are going to say the scripture out loud, and then that is the S part of SOAP. SOAP, S O A P. So, go ahead, baby. Matthew 16, 24 and 25. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. May God add a blessing to the reading of his word. Now, <laughs> Straight church and all. Church and all. <laughs> now, next in the series of the SOAP method for Bible study, you would do O, um, which in some places people, or sometimes people will do observations about the scripture. So what they observe from the scripture, maybe some background, um, background story about the scripture, um, or objective, just the facts. With the straight facts about the scripture and what it means, right? For me, when I'm doing my self method, I like to define words that I'm unfamiliar with. Um, so, in this, um, like, if I were a newbie in Christ, if if I were a new to Jesus, new to the Bible, I would probably, I would probably define disciples, right? I would write down the definition for disciples. I would also um, write down the definition of maybe if deny himself. That seems unfamiliar to me. And so I would take those different pieces of the scripture and define them. Um, I use objective sometimes in my soap. For today, we'll use observation. So what do we observe about the scripture, right? Jesus is talking to his disciples, right? We know in the Bible when anything is, if you have a just a standard Bible, most of the times, um, most of the time, anything that is in red writing is what Jesus is saying. So... Jesus is actually talking, he's talking with his disciples and he's letting them know what they need to do in order to follow him, what they need to do in order to reach um, salvation in heaven, right? Right. And, you know, if I would look at, look at it and observe, uh, I would first see, you know, deny, deny himself. Uh, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself, which means you have, you can't be selfish. Uh, Denying yourself is denying your, your selfish ways um, and wanting what you want instead of what God wants for you. Mm -hmm. um, God wants your heart, um, your soul, your mind, and he wants you to uh, let go of self and travel in the pathway that he is leading you to um, without, thinking, without thinking about what you're leaving behind. Amen. 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 Um, so moving on to application, right? Application, that's the A in the SOAP method. Application is how can you apply this scripture, this word of God to your current life, to your current situation? Um, how can you apply it? And for me, you know, I'll read it again. It says, then said Jesus unto his disciples, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. So for me, you know, in my current, I'll say just in my current situation as a mother, you know, how can I live out this scripture? How can I take this scripture and um, sometimes in the scripture be more like Jesus? Or how can I apply this scripture to my situation and allow my situation to become better? Okay, so in regards to motherhood and being a new stay-at-home mom, um, denying myself, taking up my cross and following Jesus might look a little different, right? In this current season that I'm in, I can, you know, deny myself by, you know, putting things aside like TV, um, social media, things of that sort, putting those things aside so that I can get my word in with God. Because yes, it is busy. As a stay-at-home mom, it is busy. Even as a mom in general, kids keep you busy. And it can sometimes be hard to find that time to have with God. So I can deny the things that aren't, you know, building up the kingdom you know, social media, uh, you know, TV, things like that, and get into my word a little bit more, right? Deny myself, take up my cross, which means in that situation, taking um, account, you know, taking accountability for myself to be in the word of God, to be in prayer, and to follow Jesus and to do his will. 
And the next, um, the last letter in the SOAP method is P, and that is prayer. And today we just want to pray over this scripture and over your life for um, this Bible study. We just hope you enjoyed this Bible study, and Lito is going to lead us in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for this for this Bible study, the short Bible study on uh, taking up our cross and denying ourselves and following you uh, as disciples. We want to grow. We want to, uh, you know, lean on you all the more and trusting you and trusting your plan and the steps that you have ordered. Uh, we, we don't want to be scared to lose our life, but we want to we want to continue to strive on finding our life in you. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. We hope to see you in our next video. Bye. Amen.